Do you ever get that feeling where you've bought a lot of stuff on eBay, lots of kits and things like that, that you had all good intentions of building but never ever got around to? Well, I think this is one of these times. I'm going to say kits. This one was supposed to be a kit, but obviously speaking, it's already assembled. So let's try it out and see what it actually does. So this one's a, a recording device. Let's take a closer look at the image from the listing. Key search term here is ISD1820 loudspeaker. I paid about $2.18 here from World Chips. And here are the details on the listing. So let's hook that up and see how it goes. These terminals look a bit dirty, so I'm just going to try and clean them up a little bit with a, a flux pen. That should help any solder stick. I did a quick check online, and from what I can gather, the pin that's closest to this capacitor here is the negative pin. Where it's plugged in here, that would make the one with the tracer the positive wire. I'll add links to the manual in the description. So let's see if we can tin these wires first. Next we need to connect up a power source to the ground and VCC pins. So I believe this can take 3 volts. I've got a 3 volt battery holder here, but it's got a 9 volt style connector. So let's try connecting this up. So Batteries. Let's plug in the speaker. Battery. So first one VCC. And next one. Did it work? Cool. What is the speaker quality like? Not very good. Not very good. What does it sound like when I get closer? I guess if I hold this off the ground. What does it sound like when I get closer? What does it sound like when I get closer? Oh, I wonder if I can improve the sound quality any. So let's just try cutting out just inside that line. This is just a Pringles can. What does it sound like when I get closer? So obviously, um, putting a speaker in a surround. What does it sound like when I get closer? What does it sound like when I get closer? Sounds a lot better. What does it sound like when I get closer? So that improves the quality of it a lot. I wonder if there's anything else I can do to try and improve the quality. So let's see if there's a flash on the screen. I don't have any spare, small, better quality speakers, but I do have um, this speaker that I sent off for. 
So it's just a Bluetooth speaker and it's got an AUX port on it. So if I were to connect up the AUX port on a lead and connect this up to the recording device, then hopefully I should get some better sound out of that. So I've got a, a breakout audio lead that I can use. The audio connector was $3.45 Australian from On Sale Zone 2012. And the key search term here is 4-pin female 3.5mm terminal. And these are sometimes hard to find on eBay. And a close-up of the connector. And we'll go left, right, and I guess that's probably V for voltage. Not sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect up both the left and right ones. And negative lead to go into there. And the positive lead to go into the V. You're watching Random Smith. You're watching Random Smith. So it does have some decent distance on it. It does have some decent distance on it. It does have some decent distance on it. I don't think you'd want to be too close to that mic. I don't think you'd want to be too close to that mic. So I managed to find the data sheet on this recorder. And if I can get that jumper wire out. Oops. So that says... FT on it, so that's a, like a feed through or pass through. So if I were to connect up to the whoa, just far too much feedback through that. So I think we'll skip that one. And this jumper here says PE, and that one's for play endless, endlessly. I don't think you'd want to be too close to that mic. I don't think you'd want to be too close to that mic. I don't think you'd... And if you connect a recording device up to a better quality speaker, when it's got a volume control, then it sounds better still. How you doing, Daisy? And Daisy's our budgie. How you doing, Daisy? Let's see if I can do a nice job for this little speaker. So that's the speaker glued in now and I put a little bit of extra glue around the outside just to seal it. I'll just mark this up for some holes. And let's we'll drill through. So I just want to get these nylon screws through. Let's try and get these bottom ones in. And then we'll just mount some standoffs onto those. Try putting on the hex nuts. Okay. So put that on and I'll just repeat that for the other four. So next I'll just take a pair of pliers and just tighten those up. And I'll just repeat that for all four. So next I'll connect up the speaker. So 
So I'm going to connect up the positive to the V and to right, we'll just connect up the other end. And then we'll be able to connect the voice recorder to the other end, like so. So I need a hole through here for the power and for the speaker. So we'll just draw some holes tidily to the side there. Let's feed the speaker wires through. These up. So it's only the tracer, which I think is the negative one, which we'll put on to the right side. And that'll match up with the negative going to the right side. Oops, that'll match up to the negative going to the right side there. And connect this one in. It's the positive going to the V, not match up to the V on that one there. Oops, it just popped out. Speakers. Let's see if we can get the battery out of these holes. Just one layer. So now we can have the speaker on top. So we'll connect up to ground. VCC. Does it still work? Does it still work? Hello, David. <laughs> 